Hi, welcome to Mirane Explorer, a new kind of language tool to help you in your Korean learning endeavors. It's a kind of advanced translator that takes any Korean sentence you give it and certainly gives you an English translation, but also a whole lot more of interest to Korean learners. It breaks up each word into their parts of speech, showing you all the particles and connectors and honorifics used, and then identifies any Korean grammar or idiom patterns and shows you how the parts of each word form these patterns. You can click on any pattern to get a full definition. You can also click on any of the words to see a full dictionary entry for the word, showing all of its possible meanings with pronunciation help, more example uses, and so on. This tool is meant to enable a kind of exploratory learning around whatever Korean you come across, either in regular studies or other Korean media or content, and to be a deep Korean reference that is driven by examples of the things you want to search for. So let's go and have a tour of the new tool. When you first land on mirane.io, a welcome page will come up, welcoming you to the service, mentioning that this service is still in beta, and inviting you to send feedback on any issues you encounter or suggestions for improvement you may have. You can click on the Show Me How on the welcome page to start a walkthrough tour of the features. And you can rerun this tutorial tour via the Help page any time you need a refresh. But for now, let's just jump straight into the service. The main input page is where you enter Korean text to explore. Type or paste it into the input box and hit Enter or click Explore. If you don't have a Korean keyboard, you can click this icon on the bottom left to bring up a virtual Korean keyboard under the entry box. If you're in a hurry to try the service out, click on the Try One of These drop-down and pick from a set of interesting example sentences to explore. Some other things to note briefly on this page. The Feedback button down here is used to send us questions or suggestions or to report issues with the beta version. Click this menu icon up here to open a slide out panel for managing login or sign up, or to get a listing of your past explorations, or to open the full grammar reference page. When you first land on the Explorer site, you get your own guest account that will record all of your explorations for a week or so. If you want to keep them permanently, just sign up using one of these services or with an email and password and we'll convert the account into a permanent one, keeping all the explorations you've made so far. Okay, so let's explore something from the Try These drop-down. Let's select Nanan Chajan Godel Tal Suita and hit Explore. So let's see what Explorer has presented us. First, down here, it gives us the English translation, as provided by the Neighbor Papago NMT translator, the best Korean to English translator currently available. You can click on that translation if you want, and it will take you to the Papago translator site with the Korean sentence loaded up. In the center of the display, we see a breakdown of all the words in the original sentence. The important idea here is to show you how the words in a Korean sentence are often made from base words followed by particles or joining suffixes. The black row shows you the so-called morphemes that make up each word. These are the basic parts of speech like nouns, verb stems, particles, and so on. The line under each original word spans the morphemes that are inside it to ensure you know where they come from. Note particularly in the case of the syllable tal, how the real was buried in the syllable, attached as a bachim to the verb stem of tada, but is actually a separate morpheme that is part of this verb modifying grammar pattern, l suita, and that this pattern is made of morphemes from three original words. The row under the black morphemes indicates the role that each plays in the sentence as a basic part of speech, like a noun, particle, or verb, or in a grammar pattern or sentence-ending form. 
The coloured row under that shows the meaning or sense that each gives to the sentence. The orange words are explorer's estimate of the English meaning of the part of speech above it. The purple labels indicate particle and pattern effects or purposes. Finally, a graphical depiction of the phrase and clause structure of the sentence is displayed, showing key parts such as subject and object and verb phrases. It can help understanding the main parts of long sentences or those with complex adjectival phrases or many connected clauses, as these are often the greatest challenge for English-speaking learners. This is the part of Mirene Explorer that is undergoing the most research and development. Korean, like most natural languages, allows for naturally ambiguous sentences, and so sometimes Explorer may not pick the best fitting construction for a given sentence, particularly long complex sentences. Please let us know if you encounter such a case, as we will use all the feedback we get to continually improve the phrase structure parser. You'll note that the main phrases and clauses in the parse tree are color-coded. The same colors are also used to mark out these structures in the input sentence up here. From this overview, you can drill in to get more details. Each pattern or word or particle here can be clicked on to bring up a definition box. For patterns, you'll see a description of the pattern and notes on its usage. On this line, we indicate the grammar difficulty level, as defined by the National Institute of the Korean Language, and one or more broad use categories, telling you the typical intention of the pattern. Click on these tabs at the top to see more info such as more examples of the pattern in use. The references list contains links to pages about the pattern on other reference sites, or shows page numbers for the pattern in one or more Korean textbooks. Related patterns lists other grammar patterns related in some way to this one, and related explorations shows other sentences in your exploration history that use this pattern. The entries in all of these lists can be clicked on to explore them further. If you click on a word, you see a dictionary panel. This shows all the definitions of the word listed in groups by part of speech. The top line has a speaker you can click on to hear an audio pronunciation, shows the hanja root, if applicable, and the phonetic spelling of the word's pronunciation. Next to each part of speech label is a list of the main senses of the word meaning. In the case of tada, there are many such. Click on one of these sentences to see individual meanings related to that sense, and click on one of those to see example sentences using the word with that particular meaning. The pattern library inside Explorer is deep, and we are continually expanding it. It contains not only formal grammar patterns, but also idioms and slang and newly coined words, also called neologisms. For example, here's a sentence with an idiomatic pattern, moriga kabiopta. Explorer recognizes it and marks it up here, since idiomatic patterns can span many regular patterns in the sentence. Click on it to get the derivation and other usage notes. Here's a sentence with the neologism namsachin. Explorer has recognized it, and drilling into it gives you an explanation of the new word's meaning and shows how it was derived from parts of words in the original phrase namja saram chingu. It is our hope to teach Explorer all the common idioms and neologisms, and with your help and feedback, we'll keep it constantly up to date. Some other controls to note. Clicking the pencil icon here makes the input text editable again. And you can then analyze the edited version by hitting the re-explore icon. Hitting the X clears the sentence so you can enter a new one from scratch. You can control the visibility of various elements in the sentence explanation with some switches accessible with this control at the bottom. Click on the plus to show the switches and flick them to turn on or off various parts of the display. 
You may want to do this to present challenges to yourself, say by turning off the parts of speech or English translations and trying to guess what they are. We plan on making a challenge mode like this a fully supported part of Explorer in the near future. OK, so now let's look at some other parts of the Explorer site. As I mentioned earlier, the menu icon on the top right opens a slide out panel. You can log in or sign up here and get to a history of your explored sentences by clicking the history button up here. Scroll through or search your history by typing characters into the search field. You can search on any Korean text in the original sentence or English text in the translations. Click on one of them to open it up in Explorer for more study. Note that as you explore through studied sentences, a URL is created up here in the address bar that represents exactly what you see on the screen. You can share this link with anyone so they can see and browse through the same exploration. Back in the side panel, you can get to the Murine reference library through this button at the bottom. It opens on a page that shows you all the grammar and idiom and neologism patterns in the library and presents various controls for filtering the display or searching the library. The search will match Korean characters in the patterns or definitions, or English words in the definitions and use categories. This latter is useful if you are working on writing a sentence and want to express some intent or sense. Start keying in the words in the use category to get a listing of the patterns that might be appropriate. You can click on any pattern in the list to see its definition panel and then get at example uses and other information about the pattern. This is also a useful way to study a pattern that you are learning. Find it in the library, open the examples tab and dive into some of the sentences listed. The final feature I wanted to point out is not in the Explorer site itself but is an extension available in the Chrome Web Store. If you install this extension, it will help you explore Korean text in any website you are on. Activate the extension by clicking on its extension toolbar icon when visiting a website. It will automatically notice any Korean text you hover over or select in pages on that site and present an explore tag that, if pressed, invites you to either save that text for later study or open it immediately for study in the Explorer website. The beta release has an extension only for Chrome and it is still relatively simple. Later releases will provide extensions for Safari and other browsers and will allow you to view and interact with the Explorer analysis in an overlay on the page you are in so you don't have to leave the site at all. Well, thanks very much for watching this introductory video. We hope you will use Mirane Explorer to turn any Korean text you encounter into a learning experience or to use it as a rich online grammar reference that you can search just by giving it examples of the topics you are studying.